So this is going to be a short and simple one, primarily aimed at beginners who maybe haven't used a tapering jig before or are just trying to understand the basic concept of it. I often run into projects where I need to cut a really odd long angle on a small piece, so I figured I would make a more generic reusable mini tapering jig. So that's what I'm doing here. For the miter bar, I'm using these plastic ones I bought on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description for these, but you can use plywood. It just takes a little more effort to fine tune to fit your miter slot. I'll be screwing the miter bar to the bottom of the jig. I first have to super glue it, but I'm just prepping it right now with some countersinks so the screws aren't dragging in the bottom of the miter slot. I'm using the table saw fence to help position how big I want the width of the tapering jig. And then I'm using some washers to help prop up the miter bar, just to make it easier to actually adhere the base to it using super glue. And now the super glue isn't the permanent solution to attach it, it's just to get it temporarily attached strong enough so that I can add screws later. Something you'll notice here is the base of the jig reaches further than the blade. That's because I'm just going to trim it down to the right size, rather than trying to measure and line it up perfectly. I'm adding these toggle clamps, and these are just going to be fixed permanently in one position on the jig. What would be better is if you had something that could be adjustable, and I am planning on making a more advanced adjustable jig later, but the purpose of this one is just supposed to be a mini tapering jig for really small awkward items that I can quickly pull out and have ready. So to test it out, I have this small rectangular piece that I'll be cutting nearly corner to corner just to show how well a tapering jig works when you need to make these really awkward cuts, especially when you need something super accurate. 